Back to your perfect family. How is flaccid Phil? Don't make this more difficult than it already is. Just stop. Oh, I've not even started yet. If you walk away now, then I'm afraid you leave me no choice. So what? You'll tell him? No. No. I'd show him. Very artfully shot, so you can't see my face. <laughs> Yours, wet. Well. Delete it now. This thing between us carries on until I say it's over. Otherwise, this little masterpiece gets all over social media. We wouldn't want Jacob to know Mummy's been naughty, now, would we? That reminds me. How is my nephew, anyway? I'm done. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah, you do. If there's anything you need, just just tell me, okay? How about you keep yourself out of trouble? I'll call us even. I, I don't get beaten up on purpose, you know. Yeah, but you bring it on yourself. What was it this time, eh? Mugging gone wrong? Victim fight back? Or did you forget to pay your dealer on time again? Well, if I tell you, you'll be complicit. Great. Next time you can go to hospital like everybody else. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I don't care. Every time I come here, every time I help you out, I'm just allowing you to carry on living like this. No. No. No, you're stopping them from locking me up and breaking Mum's heart. Nice. Just saying it like it is. Well, if we're being honest, you're a criminal and a junkie and you're going to break Mum's heart all by yourself. Well, I'll tell her everything you did. Patching you up, bringing you food and clothes. Clearly, I'm a terrible person. Enabling me does make you a terrible person, though. Yeah. Look after yourself, Ryan.